Hey everybody, I hope and pray that you're doing well today as we come to our word from the word. And today that word is loan. Loan. Now not a loan, but not like loan by yourself, but a loan like a monetary loan. Like uh, like many of us have had, I'm sure. Uh, you have to buy something and you don't have the money for it, a, a car, a house, something like that. You take out a loan and then pay it back. And that's something that, you know, while you're trying to repay that loan and, you know, trying to say, man, I don't think those payments will ever get done, uh, especially for a house. You just keep going and going and you feel like you're never going to get there. You say, when am I going to see the benefits? Well, it's coming one day, right? Well, but to think about that just in our everyday life, right? have you ever had anybody ask you for money? Ask you, maybe not ask you for a loan, but just ask for some help. Especially in our in our world today, we know that there are, especially just in America, let, let's just take America as a whole, that we are a blessed nation in, in that matter of speaking, a very blessed nation that you just, I encourage anybody to go, uh, go overseas, go to another country and see, uh, you know, you can see poverty on TV and you can see pictures of it, but until you see it in person, it, it it's just completely different. Um, I know several times, even the places that I have been in Uganda, especially just heartbreaking, but then also places I was at in, in Bolivia and, and things that they had there. And it could be just the same, even here in America. Now, here's the point of why I'm getting, why I'm saying all this. Sometimes we feel like, well, if people ask us for help, you know, I think a, a lot of people that take advantage of that system, uh, and take advantage of the church, take advantage of Christians, take advantage of their generosity. And a lot of times it, it gets us to the point where as, as believers that we fail to do what God has called us to do, to take care of widows and orphans, right? To take care of those who cannot help themselves. Uh, as much as you see in the New Testament, taking care of those two groups of people. And even as I mentioned this past Sunday, so many times we've allowed the, the government to take over things that the church should have been doing all along. And the church just kind of backed up from that and let the government take it over. But anyway, that's a, that's another sermon for another day, right? But but today I want us to look Proverbs uh, 19. If you look at verse 17, <coughs> excuse me, it says, He who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord, and he will pay back what he has given. Have you ever thought about that? You know, till you till you read this, you may have never thought that, man, if I'm if I'm helping somebody, then I'm 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 giving a loan to the Lord. I mean, it's it doesn't even sound right. And and it's not like God can't take care of it on his own. It's not like he's saying, okay, well, I don't have enough to supply for this person, so I need your help. But I love the the thought there, the 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 imagery that is given, because not only does God pay it back, but he's gonna pay it back with interest. Now, you just think about that for a minute. I love what Iron said, Ironside said, rather. He said, money and goods bestowed with loving pity on those in distress are not gone forever. He, talking about God, takes note of every might and makes himself responsible to see that all shall be repaid. And we may be sure that interest will be greater far than could be realized in any other way. Wow, what a thought to think that as we help others, as we give to the poor, as I mean, even collections that we have going on now, right, for God's storehouse to go to those in need. And, and as we have sent money overseas and through different missionaries, that every time that's a, a loan to the Lord and he's going to pay it back. Now, you say, well, wait a minute, I haven't gotten a check in the mail. But have you ever noticed that if you give, now, if you've never given, you're not going to understand this. But if you've ever been one of those to maybe the Lord just laid on your heart and you gave more than really you should, than you thought you should have, or, or, or you just gave because you just felt like the Lord was leading you to. And then next time you turn around, there was some other money coming in that you didn't see coming. Uh, I always kind of use it this way too. You know, I used to laugh to hear the story said that, you know, well, if, if you don't tithe, maybe your, your auto mechanic does. And so you're going to find yourself in the shop quite a bit. And, and that's because God's going to get it back around. So why not? Why don't we just give 
not just that was talking about tithing, but why not give as the Lord leads us to, knowing that he's going to bring it all back? And you say, well, wait a minute, I, I'm still broke and I'm still falling apart. Well, God doesn't only repay with money. We don't only give with money. Think about that. We don't only give with money. We give with time and energy as well. So what does God give back to us? <laughs> time and energy. Maybe all of a sudden you're able to get more accomplished. And maybe let's think far beyond material things and material possessions and, and our time on earth. Let's think about the heavenly rewards that we will receive because of the way that we have given to others. So never look at it as though you're giving something that belongs to you in the first place. If you're going to give, give with a cheerful heart. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. But know that any loan to anybody, any, any gift, any giving to the needy and the poor is a loan to the Lord and he will repay. And I tell you, his interest is better than any bank in this world could ever dream of. So today, will you give a loan to the Lord? God bless you. And I pray you have a great, great day.